Red Eye Flowers have made some poor decisions anymore. It's like my friends used to come up to me, Steve, do you want to go and get some McDonald's? I'd be like, I don't need McDonald's. How come you don't need McDonald's? I'd be like, you know. Because <laughs> it's not good for you. <laughs> Probably better off at the McDonald's. <laughs> it's easy to get into a gym than it is to get out of a psych ward. So, uh... <laughs> it's a good thing about Australia. How are you going to get addicted to cocaine in Australia? 400 bucks a gram, no fucking problems. I couldn't believe it when I got back here from Europe after 20 years. I'm a friend, he's at a party, he goes, oh, I'm going to get some coke. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. Go, How much is that? It's 400 bucks. <coughs> what? Well, fuck, they should send cocaine addicts to Australia to give up. <laughs> Just give up through principle. <laughs> Can I get some coke? That's 400 bucks. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I may be an addict, but you, sir, are a thief. <laughs> I'm off to rehab, fuck you. It's cheaper. And I love you big drug buses. How fucking massive could they be? Let's get a whole fucking bus. Drug testing. Look at the fucking Partridge families on tour. And they're fucking just... A huge bus. Drug testing. I just turn up at those buses with me coke. Can you test this? So you know, it's a, it's a... I don't trust this dealer. It's the only reason I joined Instagram. I thought it was a home delivery service. Uh, just... so, uh... <laughs> Instagram? Yeah, I'm still fucking awake, yeah. But, yeah, that's cool. Deal with my life now. <laughs> <laughs>